when you lose a loved one that was serving our community to make not only us safe, my children safe, your children safe, and the community safe, it's gut-wrenching. Just gut-wrenching. That's what Greensboro City Council member Zach Matheny said as he and his family paid their respects to fallen Greensboro Police Sergeant Dale Nix. Across the community, many others expressing similar feelings of hurt and heartbreak. Sergeant Nix was killed Saturday when he tried to stop suspects from stealing beer from a sheets on Sandy Ridge Road in Colfax. He was off duty at the time. Three suspects are in custody and are expected in court tomorrow. Today, memorials for Sergeant Nix continue to grow outside of that sheets and outside of department headquarters. News of his death has shaken the community, even for those who didn't know him personally. But for those who did, he was a loving husband, father, son, brother, friend, and respected colleague. He served with the Greensboro Police Department for more than 20 years. Good afternoon. I'm Natalie Wilson. And I'm Chad Tucker. Today, our crew was there as people stopped by a memorial outside of the police department to remember the fallen hero. Fox 8's Sarah Winkleman joins us live from outside of the Greensboro Police Headquarters this afternoon. Sarah, what have you been seeing today? Chad, it's just very emotional out here as people of all ages really coming from all over the place just stop by to pay their respects. And as they get closer to that memorial, they're hugging each other, embracing each other. Some of them knew Sergeant Nix, others had never met him, but they all wanted to stop by and pay their respects to the fallen officer. This is tragedy for this man, of course, this hero. Sergeant Nix, a hero to Christy Luther, one she never met, but still felt she owed him gratitude. They selflessly are heroes every single day. And I, I hope they know how much we appreciate them. But, you know, it's very difficult to convey that every day. But this was just one small way to come down here and tell this man and his family thank you for this senseless loss of a hero flowers badges from other departments a candle and notes sit across the front of this police car set up as a memorial we just wanted to come say thank you to sergeant Nix, to his family um, and to all the women and men of that service. Councilman Zach Matheny stopped by with his kids. I just wrote thank you for serving our community for two, 22 years and that you'll be missed and loved by many. A message heard across Greensboro. But also knowing that our community was better because of him and hopefully we will continue to remember him and dedicate this year to him. The Greensboro city manager also stopped at the memorial. He asked the community to step up in wake of the tragedy. We have to keep holding together. Um, that was our 73rd um, homicide, right? Um, we have to continue to hold together as a community, knowing fully well that one way we can really service memory well is to make sure that if you see something, say something. The first day of the new year, a time to start living for the legacy of Sergeant Nix. I don't make resolutions, but I do today is to just be thankful for what we've got, uh, be appreciative and to love a little bit more. Because uh, we know what it's like to have loss, right? And Sergeant Nix was so much more than just a police officer. He was very involved with the Family Justice Center here in Guilford County. Coming up tonight at 6, we'll hear some more about his work there and how his impact reached far beyond just the streets of Greensboro. Live in Greensboro, Sarah Winkleman, Fox 8 News.